master list. Okay. Close. And then once you get back to the master list, you're going to have to select them again. So do select all and then click next. And this is where we pick the templates. So we're going to browse for those files. And let's see. So for the uh, key, uh, first we're going to pick the home page template. So you can uh, basically double click on that or just click it and say open. And then same thing for the keyword template. Double click that. And then the CSS file, same thing. These are all in there prepared for you. <laughs> open that. And then uh, default extension for the web page, you can either do PHP or HTML. Now, uh, if you want to use any of the advanced features like uh, RSS feeds, then you have to do PHP. So we'll do PHP. Select Next. Okay, now for the web page content. Okay, so three key, uh, four keywords per group, three groups. This just depends on how many folders, subfolders you want it to set up, or if you want to, uh, for example, put them all in the same folder. So 11 keywords per group, one group, that would put them all in one, one folder. Or if you want to have three subfolders with four pages in it. Uh, we'll do... Uh, Let's do just say discard keywords if we have any extra. RSS feeds, yes, that's a pretty cool thing to do. And then uh, rather than the fixed definitions, I like to do the uh, the rotating definitions with uh, random descriptions. And then select the percentage of the article that goes before and after the RSS feed. Again, this is just a totally customizable uh, feature here. So let's just say you know 40% goes before and 60% after, or we could do you know the other way around whatever. And then uh, content selection, we can uh, manually select articles. Now, this is if you're a gold member of Hyper-VRE. I do recommend that you upgrade to gold because it allows you to select articles from your own hard drive. If you don't do that, you can select um, free distribution articles. Uh, Hyper-VRE will basically uh, find those articles for you and will include them. You know, it includes the author, bio box, you know, and everything like it's supposed to. Um, but, of course, that's going to be duplicate content. So it's going to be a lot better if you can use your own content, uh, whether that be articles that you've written or that you've had ghost written. Uh, it's better to use your own. So that's why I suggest using the, uh, the gold version and use the manual content selection to select your own article. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import our own articles. And then we're going to uh, just navigate to the location on your hard drive where those articles are. And we happen to have pre-formatted uh, articles that we included with the Instant AdSense templates collection um, because Hyper-VRE has a certain format that you have to use when you're importing articles in bulk. Now, of course, I don't recommend that you only use uh, these private label articles as you're building your site. You want to use your own content. And, uh, again, whether you write that yourself or have someone else write it. Um, but you can use the articles that we included as kind of a starter, to, you know, to get you going. And then uh, build your site from there. So let's select these Hyper-VRE articles. And I'm going to click Shift and the arrow key to select them all. So, again, they have to be highlighted before you can import it. And then click Import. And you can see we just imported these 10 articles. Okay, so once we've imported, we'll say Done. And that's that. We'll go to the next page. Okay, for RSS feeds, if you want to include uh, dynamic RSS feeds, that's a, a nice way to keep the content of your page fresh. And again, since we are using uh, PHP pages, this is spiderable. So when the, the uh, search engines come and spider your website, they will also see these RSS feeds, and they will know that you know, there's fresh content on your site, and that can help sometimes with the search engines. So if you want to find RSS feeds uh, using the search function, you would type a keyword, and then click the button to find RSS feeds. Okay, so for bike, we found several RSS feeds. So PR Web, that's always a good one. Um, we'll add that to the master list. Um, single tracks that uh, seems to be uh, 
mountain biking related. We'll add that to the master list. We got beginner triathlete, bike exchange, you know, any of these. Again, you can experiment. I mean, most of these, uh, again, are RSS feeds that are coming off of websites that want you to syndicate their content. In other words, that's the reason they have an RSS feed. They want people to syndicate uh, their headlines, basically. These are a lot of, you know, news sites and whatnot. So we'll add, add a few. I usually like to add about three or four, sometimes five, just to be safe. Once you've got some RSS feeds on the master feed list, go ahead and click Next. And header text. Uh, this is basically going to be the uh, the name of the website. So we'll call it Eric's Bikes. Header image and footer image. You don't need to worry about that unless you have integrated those uh, those tags into your uh, template. We've already included the images directory in with the Hyper-V templates, so you don't need to worry about this at all. Okay, and that's a, something I want to make note of too is if you uh, save the project and then try, and then when you uh, load the project, it'll say that there's a header and footer image missing. Um, just click OK and ignore that. You don't need to worry about it. The software is working just fine um, just because it doesn't see one that you've loaded. Don't worry about it. It's still going to work. Click Next. Okay, pay-per-click publishing. Uh, this we have not uh, incorporated into the templates um, because we've, we've hard-coded those Google AdSense uh, ad blocks into the templates already. This is a variable where if you wanted to um, use it, it basically the, the token system to include these pay-per-click codes like Google AdSense in certain parts of your website, you can use this. But again, we're not going to use that for this. So click Next. Affiliate product selection. This, is, again, is only available if you're a gold member. And if you are a gold level member, then I suggest that you use this. It's a great tool to incorporate affiliate products into your virtual real estate website. So, for example, uh, say we want to find some Amazon products. I would, I would simply click Add products for Amazon, and, and uh, again, let's say I search for bicycle. It's going to search the Amazon.com marketplace for bicycle-related products, and it just takes it a moment to do that search, and you can see it found a number of bicycle-related products. So say I wanted to insert some of these as uh, links into the website. I would just select it and then insert the product. They're actually selling, you know, bikes. So imagine, you probably make a pretty good commission if you sell a bike. Um, and then, you know, ClickBank, you can do the same thing to search ClickBank, Pay.com. Um, you can also insert manual links. We're not going to worry about that for now. Click Next. And this one is only relevant if you are a gold level member and if you included any links on this page. Otherwise, you don't need to worry about these contextual ad settings. So we're not going to worry about that either for now. Okay, and on this last step, we're going to select the output folder. And I suggest uh, going ahead and creating a new folder. And you can call it whatever you want. And select that new folder. There we go. And then for the web page name option, you can either use uh, uppercase letters for the beginning of each word or just all lowercase. Really doesn't matter. Save project and generate pages. So pick a project name. Again, uh, really doesn't matter what you call it. And you can see now it's downloading the content. It's basically building that website right now as we wait.